Hey there, the videos are back. We're going to be doing two a week between now and the election, taking a look at some races uh, that I think you might want to keep an eye on. And we're going to start in Wisconsin, where in the Senate race, the Democratic incumbent, who has been there for many years, is suddenly and unexpectedly in trouble and may well lose. See, there's kind of a thing in senatorial political history uh, about three terms. <clears throat> Sometimes a, a senator is uh, going along, chugging along quite nicely. Uh, senatorial terms are six years, uh, so the person has served three terms. They decide to run for a fourth. They've been pretty popular. Their opponent isn't a well-known person. Uh, doesn't seem like it should be a race. Then suddenly it's a race. I've seen it happen many times. You read about it in history having happened many times. There's something about 18 years psychologically that somehow makes voters uh, open to thinking that, well, maybe that guy's been around long enough and maybe we should look at the other person. So, this I think is what Russ Feingold, uh, part of what Russ Feingold has run into this year in Wisconsin. Uh, he's been in the Senate three terms, he's been popular, he's been well liked, he's flirted with running for president a couple of times, he's one of your more outspoken liberals in the Senate, uh, at least on some issues. Uh, uh, some some people uh, on, the, on the liberal side wanted him to be uh, this outspoken sort of Wellstonian presidential candidate in 2004 or 2008. Uh, he should, have, by all rights, have been cruising to re-election. Uh, but then something happened. The Republican opponent is a man named Ron Johnson. He is, of course, a businessman and a hater of government and all of those sorts of things. Uh, he uh, runs a plastics company, uh, which he did not found. This has been the subject of some contention out in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, his wife's family founded it. Uh, he did, by uh, some accounts, uh, make it more successful than it had been. Uh, anyway, he's the guy, and uh, the race was fairly close throughout the course of the summer. Uh, but then, look at this graph. This is from Nate Silver's 538 website uh, on the NewYorkTimes.com. Suddenly, uh, in mid-September, kind of from out of nowhere, look at what happened. One day, Feingold was two to one likely to win. Uh, the next day, he just fell off the cliff, and Ron Johnson became something like the 79% favorite to win the race. Nothing happened uh, untoward in that little short period. You know, Feingold wasn't caught in bed with a Girl Scout or anything like that. It just happened. It's when the 18-year thing sunk in, I think. Uh, there's also, among liberals in Wisconsin, there's a lack of enthusiasm in general about Obama, uh, about the direction of the Democratic Party. Uh, <clears throat> you know, unemployment's not too bad. Unemployment in the state is only about 7, 7.5%. Uh, but there's just no feeling of great energy and investment. and. Uh, and so Feingold has suffered from that. And he's behind now in polls, 12 points in one poll, 11 points in another, six points in another recent poll. But you add them all up on average, probably about nine points behind with a month to go. Feingold's one of the relatively few Democrats out there who actually is running on health care. Uh, this is a new ad that he just put up uh, in early October. Take a look. Senator Feingold has always been on our side, fighting the insurance companies. But Ron Johnson won't even get in the ring for us. Russ fought to stop insurance companies from denying Wisconsin children health care due to pre-existing conditions. That's about the first half of the ad, but you get the idea. Uh, he is actually uh, trumpeting his support for the health care initiative. It'll be interesting to see how that plays. Uh, he does have about twice the money that Johnson has uh, as of uh, the first week of October. He has about three million on hand. Uh, Johnson has about one and a half million dollars on hand. Uh, so I would look for Feinkel to have an advertising advantage as we head into the final weeks. But you know, he got caught. Uh, he got caught unawares in this situation. He didn't expect this to happen to him, and he may have left things too late. Uh, this is definitely going to be a race uh, that you should keep your eye on on election night. Uh, if Feingold has lost, uh, it's a good chance that that portends difficulties for Democrats in a handful of other swing states.